happiness and hugs here at Herrick's High School after the big announcement that five students are among the 300 semifinalists in the prestigious Regeneron Science Talent Search. Yes, he's a Regeneron Top 300 scholar. We watched as 17-year-old Arman Vaswani shared the exciting news with his parents over FaceTime. That's amazing. <laughs> I know, thanks. Big smile. I am very excited. I wasn't expecting this at all. There are 49 winners across Long Island, the most of any region. <laughs> There was a record-breaking number of applicants this year, 2,500 students from nearly 800 schools. I analyzed physicians' verbal behaviors during simulated patient interactions in the hopes of pinpointing specific behaviors that may or may not be contributed by racial bias. Some students spend years on their projects, which include testing the effects of a drug on corneal disease to the impact of light pollution on birdsong. I hope that my project will inspire others to see the beauty in nature and also care for uh, birds that are so important to our ecosystems. Advisors say this competition is about so much more than what the students are learning here in the classroom. Even if they're not a semifinalist, they've done the work. They've made connections with researchers, they've worked with graduate students, uh, PhD candidates, and they're contributing to the scientific community. They're changing our world for the better. In New Hyde Park, I'm Shari Einhorn for Newsday TV.